In this video I'm going to unbox the Western Digital My Passport hard drive and show you how you can quickly and easily set it up. Just to say I'll often add any available updates since posting this video in the video description box below with links to the product so that you can have a look yourself. Sound good? Let's check it out! I was running out of space on my Windows PC and wanted to move and back up some of my data on an external hard drive. I picked up this Western Digital My Passport 2TB hard drive on Amazon Prime and it was delivered within a few days. Around 15 years ago I bought this 32GB Western Digital portable hard drive which has worked reliably and therefore it was a no-brainer for me that I would go with Western Digital again. This new hard drive is USB 3 ready but also works with USB 2, has built-in 256-bit hardware encryption with password protection, is a equipped with Western Digital backup software that can be set automatically to your schedule and comes with a 3 year warranty for added peace of mind. In this box comes a hard drive in an easy to open plastic case which also includes a small instruction booklet and USB cable. The USB cable is approximately 45cm long and in my opinion could be a bit longer. The quality of the cable is fairly robust which is useful given the portable nature of the product. The hard drive itself is modern looking with its two-tone design, very tactile and compact. Its dimensions are 10.7cm in length, 7.5cm width and 1.1cm depth and is really lightweight with a weight of 118 grams. There is a small LED which shows the status of the drive. When it is solid, the drive is idle and when flashing it means that there is activity. You can see I'm in the red on my internal hard disk. Let's change that up. On plugging in the hard drive, the computer instantly recognises it and starts to set it up. Already on the drive is an executable for the Western Digital Discovery Program, which is quick and easy to install. Once installed, you can register your device to secure your three year warranty. Set a password. As I'm mainly going to be using this hard drive on this computer, I'm going to select the Enable Auto Unlock. Clicking on the Apps tab takes you to this section where you can install Western Digital's security, drive utilities and backup. The Drive Utilities app allows you to run diagnostics, change the sleep timer and LED settings and rename and format your hard drive. It already comes formatted for Windows 10 and 8.1, however reformatting will be required for other operating systems such as Mac. The backup app can be set up to automatically protect your files by automatically backing them up to your Western Digital external hard drive at a frequency that suits you. It can also be used to restore files. The security app allows me to change the password that I set up earlier. As you can see, I've managed to back up my data on this Western Digital portable hard drive and therefore free up space on my internal hard drive allowing me to keep creating videos. The only irritating point is that you get a total of 1.81 terabytes rather than the 2 terabytes of data I thought I was getting, although the amount is technically correct. The reason for this difference lies in the way the hard drive manufacturers advertise their devices, versus the way Windows computers actually use storage devices. There's also some overhead required when Windows formats your drive for the file system and boot data. In summary, the Western Digital My Passport hard drive provides a relatively cheap, easy to set up, secure and reliable option for portable data storage. If you found this video useful, please take a moment to click that subscribe button with notifications for free to keep up with updates I'll be posting about this hard drive and also future videos which may be of interest to you. Thanks for watching, see you next time.